welcome to this incredibly exciting launch of what seems to me to be by far the most ambitious, the most thrilling, the most imaginative project I think that has ever been launched, as far as I can think of, in the whole history of musical performance. It is so important to remember during this millennial year that there is a sacred element to the whole thing. It's very easy to forget that. And that is the real reason that I became patron of this project, because it seemed to be so vital to have an underpinning of a sense of the sacred during this particular year. By an odd quirk of history, the uh, 250th anniversary of Bach's death falls exactly at the beginning of a new millennium. And as a musician, you ask yourself, well, what do I do to mark that event? That's it. It doesn't look a lot. It is. That is, that is 60 programs of cantatas. There they all are. Each folder, each folder has three, four cantatas in it. The thing that really drew me to the idea of trying to construct a whole year formed exclusively of Bach's cantatas is that these cantatas, apart from a handful, are scarcely known today. There are recordings of them. They, they do get performed occasionally, um, but out of the 500 or so cantatas that apparently he composed, we have about 200 that have come down to us. And of those, I suppose five or six are regularly performed, and the rest not at all. Yeah, without without over going over the top, can you get D D and Just a bit more focus, like a, a bullet. Yeah. Good. Yes. I do I do think that there is something a bit really um, targeted about Kristen Eds and Think of an etching. Think of it as, as carved out of the woodwork or, or metal indeed, you know, so that it's, it's engraved in your minds. Kristen Eds and Eds and Yep. Okay, one, two, three, yum. The essence of this whole sequence of music is for my Monteverdi choir and English Baroque soloist to perform on the appropriate day for which each of the cantatas was composed. The music that Bach wrote for each Sunday, for each feast day, for each saint's day in the whole of the Christian year. Now this tour or this odyssey, or we call it a pilgrimage because it goes to places of worship and places of, of, of real uh, spiritual significance encompasses first and foremost the places where Bach himself lived and worked and they're almost exclusively in Saxony in Eisenach where he was born, in Arnstadt where he first worked, in Weimar which was his main uh, uh, employment in, the, in his twenties and above all Leipzig where he spent the bulk of his mature life and from these Bach towns it spreads out all round northern Europe um, into Scandinavia, to Great Britain, and culminating this entire year in New York. The red dots are the places that we're going to, um, from Orkney and Iona in the north, down to uh, Roman Naples in the south, with Warsaw, Tallinn and Riga, and over there is New York. 
Montevideo Choir and the English Baroque Soloists are normally accustomed to doing a certain number of projects in a year, maybe six or seven major projects. We're actually doing 59 programs. We're actually doing, I think it's 67 specific concerts. And for us, the, the organization involved in that, quite alone, the, the financing of it is out of proportion to anything we've ever done before. Can we do the da capo, please? Here we go. I've been through this in so many different stages in my life. I remember going as a, a boy treble with my parents' choir to Germany. We sang Heinrich Schutzte and people in Kassel and in Fulda and in Frankfurt said, you know, what are you doing singing for Schutz like this? Don't you realize that uh, Schutz is an evangelist accompanist and you can't sing him with so much uh, passion and color? And then when I was first going to Ansbach um, in 1979, you know, the, the Ansbach is a sort of Heiligtum of, uh, it's of it's where Richter, Karl Richter had um, conducted and performed Bach and you're not allowed to applaud you know there's an absolute uh, silence holy silence after that and our approach to Bach was different it was much more theatrical more dramatic perhaps more human Jenny? Yeah, it's fine. Right, it's fine. It's good, isn't it? It's fantastic. Isn't it great? I think I've got quite a bit to do, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Look at the, the altarpiece, it's so good. Oh, stunning. Really stunning. <laughs>